Ezekiel 36, 24. I'm talking, he's giving you a gift of gifts, baby. For I'll take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I don't care what color or creed you are. I don't care what language you speak, whether you male or female, young or old. He coming to get his own, and you meant to be his own. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will forgive every sin, he says. I will give you a new heart, not one that cries out, why have you forsaken me? And I'll put a new spirit in you. I will remove your heart of stone, and I'll give you a heart of flesh, one that can know, one that can cry out, one that can believe who I am have that relationship restored that I ain't got to ask what you at in this but you will know that you know that you know where you stand with your God you'll know you're forgiven you'll know you're righteous holy and redeemed you know you washed whiter than snow you know that every sin you got and have committed is buried in the deepest ocean as far as the east is from the west you will know that your Jesus took your uh, place on that cross that he became sin that you might become the righteousness of the most high you will know when the devil comes in and tries to convince you otherwise and you will win victory over that devil by resisting him on the truth of God's word that Jesus became sin that I might become the righteousness he took it all devil get behind me Satan because I ain't going down that path no more I got a new heart and I don't want to think that God has ever forsaken me again. Matter of fact, we get here at the end, Jesus comes back and declares, I will never leave, I will never forsake, because he wanted you to know that he was the only one that could give you that transition. And you ain't never gotta worry about it again, because what he has finished is finished.